day of exploring Hanoi, the sunshine came out. Let's go explore Hanoi in the sun. Woo! <laughs> Everything looks so much nicer and it has so much more color in the sunshine. I'm excited. Let's go. Let's go. What are you doing in here? somebody's house. <laughs> This was just the best thing that happened to us in Hanoi, guys. <laughs> yeah, so just behind me, guys, another thing you can do is visit the night market. It would. Yeah. Welcome, Welcome to, to Hanoi. Hanoi! We came to Hanoi for a week. You can expect a lot of delicious food, crazy traffic, places to see, things to do in Hanoi. Yeah, come with us as we explore Hanoi. This lady is the reason why we came back to Hanoi. Let's go! Hey guys, it's the next day now. And you never guess what? Finally, sun came out. There is a sunny day in Hanoi. Let's go and explore. Let's go, guys. <laughs> you know when Danny said this morning that banh mi is, is his favorite uh, Vietnamese food? He wasn't lying. He's having another one now. This is the, what's nice, actually. This is different. This is a grilled meat banh mi. So this is not with pate. So I'm excited for this. I love grilled meat, even in Thailand. Stuff on sticks, I'm there. I'm going to eat it. So this one was 40,000. So the grilled meat's a bit more expensive than the pate ones. Pate ones you normally get for around 20,000. So yeah, this looks like it's grilled pork banh mi. I actually can't wait to try it as well because it smells really, really good. The charcoal, you can smell the charcoal on the meat already. Mm. Right, let's take a seat on a little chair. Yeah, one for Danny as well. Come on, have a seat. Come on. Yay. It smells really good. And they put this back on the grill, so they grilled the outside to make it nice and crunchy. There's some sauce in it, I don't know what it is. Let's get stuck in. <laughs> so good. That grilled meat, slightly burnt around the outside, and the cucumbers inside give that crunch. And you got like a hot sauce. It's in between the hot sauce, Tabasco, and Sriracha. That's really good. Mm -hmm. Let me have a go. Yummy? Mm-hmm. It's good, yeah? Mmm. This is the best by me by me I ever had. Oh the chili sauce is so good. Crispy light bread as well. The bread is not stodgy at all. It's like it feels like you would be eating crunchy cloud. It's so light. And then crunch of the cucumber gives the freshness, spicy chili sauce yeah. and grilled pork. Perfect combination. Can we eat it all? Mmm. <laughs> wow. Yeah. It's so good we got the second one, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so guys, if you see these grilled ones on the street, grab them. The grilled meat ones, really good. I think I like them more than the pate ones, I think. A lot better. There is one problem we're experiencing here. That a lot of these places where we grab our snacks, they're actually not on a Google map. So I'm just going to show you shops outside so you can see what's the opposite side of the road and maybe you can find it that way. It looks like locals are buying in here so that means that will show you there is a good food. over there another cool thing to check it out in Hanoi but we're not allowed to go in apparently if you pay the money they're gonna take you around so what we're gonna do we just got it um, basically we just met a lovely English couple and they told us basically just 
walk opposite way and look for cafe 99 right yeah so this one is more touristy because it's right near the center of the old town but if you work further down there's no guards there's no one shutting off the railways and you'll see when we turn the camera around there's no guards or anything so we're gonna go that way i know there's cafes that way let's go let's just cross this crazy road first guys I'm gonna let you go You just have to make your way with the traffic. If somebody's gonna let you in, maybe. <laughs> We're just approaching the um, train track, guys. This area is not blocked off. Let's explore the area. Already looks here very colorful uh, and lovely. We're in a hunt for a coffee, so let's go. So yeah, we're just gonna keep walking find the cafe which was recommended to us have some coffee sit down and chill for a while and we're gonna show you around and hopefully there might be a train coming because we're not too short of the times yeah we didn't check the times you know us guys we just wing it <laughs> oh we found the cafe so basically as soon as you find this cafe guys just carry on walking straight and it's a little bit less touristy uh, the train tracks are not blocked off as well and yeah let's go and explore so yeah this area is for sure a bit more local guys you get like the hairdressers around here you get uh, local eateries as well and I think I do prefer this side I think I do prefer this side because you can see a little bit of Woo! <laughs> you can see a little bit more of the local Hanoi I think it's quite cool that you can actually walk on the train tracks guys so I think this is definitely something unique for Hanoi for sure huh uh. Do mind for the bikes though. <laughs> so basically we're taking another deer tour guys. Um, basically we just walked to the end of the train tracks. It was like literally two minutes. We walked for two minutes from that cafe 99 and the train tracks was blocked again. It's a way to get money at a tourist. So if you want to enter that train street, either you pay the guard yeah. or you have to get invited in by one of the cafe owners, mm. I think. But So what we're going to do basically, we're just going to pass the train station and still explore a bit of the train tracks of Hanoi. We are not giving up, don't worry. Yeah, there's like a, a second train street, I think. So come with us and see if yeah, we find, we'll find it. out. <laughs> <laughs> we might not. <laughs> We're just passing the train station, so we are not far, guys. We're going, Bear with us. <laughs> we're going the right way. The train station's there. We're going the right way. We're definitely walking through a little bit more local area of um, Hanoi, guys. There is no pretty buildings, no pretty lampons. So this is really interesting to see as well. There is a lot of like an army, uh, army clothing here. Um, even grab jackets as well. <laughs> right guys, think we made it, we found it. Train tracks, let's go. Oh. <laughs> they stopped for us, how nice. Crossing the road in Vietnam, guys. Hello. Hello. Crossing the road in Vietnam, guys, is definitely a skill. <laughs> right, let's see if there's any barriers at this one. How oh, cool, guys. This looks amazing. There is no barriers. We can walk through it. And it's definitely more local. That's what we like. You also get some lovely looking cafes here as well. Let's walk a little bit further and then we're gonna stop for a coffee. I just took the picture for you guys so you know what time the train's coming. It looks really cute around here. So 
we might actually wait for the train as we sit here. Uh, we're gonna grab a coffee, coconut as well. Um, and yeah, we're gonna experience a real train tracks of Hanoi. <laughs> The lady said we're safe here, it comes very close. We should yes. just be able to sit here and not move. But I think, yeah, this tree as well. This train street is really nice as well, isn't it? I think. Yeah, yeah. and maybe we should move a little bit one further because then Why? you can go go back a little bit oh. further. Yeah. Come on. Oh, come on. Come come on. on. Got some Vietnamese coffee again. I love this stuff, guys. It's getting busy, train is coming soon, guys. I think he got a bit scared, we've moved seats because yeah. the lady just showed us how close the train actually comes. It, it comes pretty close yeah. and it's not slow neither. No, I thought it'd be it's really not slow. slow and, yeah, it's coming a little bit too close for my liking. Hello, I'm in somebody's house. <laughs> I think it was a bit scared, so she opened up the house so Diggy can go inside. <laughs> so they're putting all the tables down. I guess so the train won't hit it because the train it will be coming quite close, guys. Very, very close. You can come out the old man's house now. <laughs> yeah. The table's coming back up. Everything's going back to normal now. <laughs> the link to location is in the description. Don't forget to check it out. Yeah, guys, it's definitely worth checking out. Such a cool experience. You don't get to see this anywhere else in many places. To get that close to the train is really cool. A little bit dangerous, but cool, guys. <laughs> definitely come and check it out. Hanoi looks so much prettier with the sun out. Oh my god. Right, so now we're off to the temple on the lake, but on the Huan Kiem Lake. Yeah, the, the lake basically in the middle of Hanoi Old Quarter. Yeah, so another thing to see and do in Hanoi Old Town is to go and check out this temple we're going to now. This temple is called Ngok Son Temple or otherwise known as the Jade Mountain Temple. And what you'll find about this place is the striking red bridge that goes across. So we're gonna see it in a day, but you should come and check this place out at night. It looks so beautiful at night. So let's go and check it out, guys. Let's go. Come on, bye-bye. It's quite cool here by the lake. There's loads of people chilling, eating their by me. <laughs> You can buy some lovely flowers as well, it's very really nice. Yeah, this is a place to come, relax, take a walk around, stop yeah. and have a coffee, put your feet, no, not in the water, <laughs> but put your feet over the water. But yeah, nice views as well, you can see around the city, all the yeah. high-rise buildings. Nice to chill here. Yes. Especially today, it's nice mm. and warm. The thing is, we're showing you uh, today, we're showing you things we haven't done, sorry. It's okay. <laughs> We're showing you things we haven't done before in uh, Hanoi, some of the things we have done, but this is not going to be all of the things to do in Hanoi. We're showing you stuff which we would recommend you to do or something we've done ourselves. And all this stuff is walkable, guys. You can walk to all these places. So think about it that way. You don't yeah. have to catch a bus, taxi, it's all walkable. Perfect. Let's go in. How are you? <laughs> Come with me guys. All right, so there is an entrance fee to this temple, 30,000, uh, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., Monday to Thursday, and Fridays to Sunday, 7 to 10 o'clock at night. Let's go, guys. Let's go. go, go, go. Right 
right guys, we are going in. We're gonna uh, show you this place. Oh! <laughs> we're gonna show you this place in the evening after we leave. Uh, after we leave, we're gonna put some bureau. What this place likes to look. Ugh. After we leave, we're gonna put the bureau, guys, so you can see what this place like. Look. Ah! <laughs> Just one thing guys, I want to show you how this place looks in the evening as well because it's absolutely beautiful. So after we leave, you can expect some B-roll what this place looks like at night. So yeah, as Diggy was saying, this place is like iconic for this bridge. Everyone knows this bridge when you're in the center of Old Town Hanoi and it does look beautiful at night. You'll have a look in a bit. Let's go. It's a bit busy here. <laughs> it's beautiful temple guys, beautiful architecture, it looks so pretty around here. Give me the camera. <laughs> Excuse me? Give me the camera. I need to talk to our friends. Thank you. Okay, so this temple was built and erected in the 19th century and it's actually built in commemoration of a guy called Tran Hang Dao. And he was the greatest military commander of the Tran dynasty. There is this couple just behind us over there. They look so pretty. I had to take a picture of them. They look absolutely beautiful. They dressed really, really smart for the occasion, did they? Yeah, for me, it reminds me like back in the UK when you go to Sunday service in the church, you always dress up smart. It reminds me of that, yeah. Oh, look, they, look, <laughs> they look lovely. That's me and Danny in the future. <laughs> They kept this temple looking really, really nicely up there. Yeah, mm -hmm. the grounds are very pretty. There is a lot of really nice places where you can take pictures. It looks really nice. I like it. It's nice to actually be on the temple looking out rather than being yeah. outside looking in. So yeah, I think it's worth the money to come in here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's nice. Mm -hmm. That's it for the temple. Ah, I can't see. Yeah, it's like selfie bridge, so you have to keep out of way of people, everyone taking their yes. photos. It's, it's a lot of photos. It's a lot, it's a lot of people taking photos because it's super pretty here. So you guys, you haven't tried this. This is around quite a few street corners. It's a uh, sugarcane juice. And here it's kind of, I think they put lime in it as well. So it's slightly different to Thailand. And this will cost 20,000. So really good price as well. And refreshing. Let's try this juice. Oh, so nice. Sweet. Slightly limey, I think. But so refreshing, nice and cold. In this weather today, it's worth having these. Maybe a couple. Yeah, one thing a lot of guys will ask is, do you have ice in your drink? Yeah. Again here, yeah we have. Uh, we haven't got sick or anything. No, so we did not have a not problem worried. even once. No, so I think it's fine, it's good. <laughs> Where you going? Where you going? Eh? Cute! Ah! Nyam, 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 nyam. He's making new friends in Hanoi. He's so cute. Oh this was just the best thing that happened to us in Hanoi, guys. <laughs> we, we, I'm recording. No, traffic. Don't worry about traffic, Danny. They're not gonna run you over here. I think he wants me to die ah. in Hanoi. Okay. <laughs> but the best thing put to do in Hanoi for me is just to walk around. Look how beautiful it's around us, guys. Uh, 
And don't forget to look up above the level of the shops because the houses are really cool. And you're so pretty. Looking up, like the second, third level. Yeah. They're so old. They look so cool. There's so many cute dogs here. In Hanoi, new thing to show you what you can do in Hanoi. Yeah, so this cathedral was actually built in 1886 and it's named after the patron saint of Vietnam, Joseph. Let's go inside and have a look. get to walk into the church he might burn in flames yes that's quite cool if you didn't know it's like wedding season here in Vietnam now so there's actually a wedding going on in there so we don't want to stay in there too long mm -hmm. but yeah this is actually the oldest church in the whole of Hanoi so and when you look at the style of it the actual style of the building is kind of similar to Notre Dame in Paris, France. It's very similar mm. when you look at the front of the building. They make a lot of noise. <laughs> I think this cathedral is really, really pretty, guys. It has that feel of the big, massive, grand church. It's huge, absolutely yeah. huge. What I like is the coloration of the brick. So it's like dark and light, and it makes it look really cool. Mm -hmm. The church behind us. Look how beautiful it is with the sunshine at the back. It's coming through it, yeah. It's so pretty. <laughs> We're in a lift. <laughs> Another thing to do in Hanoi is grab yourself a beer with Hanoi. Beer with view. Yes, with the view of Hanoi. <laughs> okay, we're gonna show you where to go. Wow, look guys, we have we are on the fifth floor and we have a whole bar. Ourselves. How cool is that? Come on. <laughs> Let's sit down and grab a beer. This is another cool bar to sit at and chill and just people watch and just watch the crazy traffic. So yeah, come up to this place as well. It's cool. We have, we've been sitting here for a while now, having a beer, and it got dark now. <laughs> yeah, so just behind me guys, another thing you can do on Friday, Saturday and Sunday is visit the night market. So this is open from 7 to 11. Let's go and check it out and see what they got. Yeah. So this market looks pretty big, but uh, we cannot see any food and I think the mainly the stuff in the middle, what is sold is exactly the same like the shops on the outside which you can see every other day. Yeah, so it's not a touristy stuff like souvenirs and stuff like that. So yeah, we're gonna have a look around, but this street is basically located straight off the roundabout by the lake. So it's easy to find. Very easy to find. Yeah. It looks like it's some sort of here, but it doesn't look like it's open. So I don't know. Open or busy. Yeah, yeah. it's not really a foodie market. It's just like a just souvenir. Clothes and souvenirs. And clothes. So if you're looking for souvenirs and clothes, then come here. Yeah. If you're looking for food, don't come here. <laughs> Thank you. 
Loads, loads of people taking pictures over there. But so we want to show you that place at night because it looks so much better at night. Yeah. Right, guys, we're gonna finish this video here from this beautiful place, from this beautiful temple. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed exploring Hanoi with us. Have you? Yeah. And Let us know. If you did, make sure you give us a thumbs up. <laughs> and I hope I gave you, or we gave you some ideas of places you can visit. They're all walkable within the centre of yeah. Hanoi Old Town. So yeah, we enjoyed it. I hope yeah, you we loved it. it. And see you in the next one. See you next one. Guys, don't forget to subscribe, like, thumbs up, thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> see you next one, guys. Love you, bye. Ciao.